Hello there everyone, welcome to another video. It is me Desiree and it is Saturday, which means it's time for me to tell you about all the products I wore this week. And I have been loving doing this so much because it's made me really stick to one thing because normally I will try a different thing every single day. Like I'll, I have many bronzers, I'll pick out five bronzers to wear that week, I'll try a different thing every day. But with this little series that I'm doing, it's making me really use one thing, get to know it really well, and I've been really enjoying it. So every week I've been having like less and less makeup in here. Um, so for foundation, I'm still stuck on this, the Rimmel Lasting Finish, uh, breathable 25 hour long wear foundation. It does say it's medium coverage. I would say it mediums like the maximum amount of coverage you'll get out of this. I prefer it in a lighter way. I do put on one layer and then I put concealer on for the rest of the coverage that I want. I wear the shade 103 True Ivory and I really, really like this a lot. And yeah, I'm still stuck on it. Uh, concealers and eyebrows, I wear the same things every single day. So I'm not going to mention them every week because it'll get repetitive. But I will list them down below in case you're interested. Um, bronzer, I was using this one from CYO. This is the bronzing powder in the shade when the sun don't shine. And this is how it looks. It did have a scent when I first um, bought it. I would say it's super duper subtle. Now it's kind of like trying to smell like the butter bronzer, but not as sickening. Uh, it's a really, it's a matte powder, but it's not flat matte. Like it has a really nice um, something to it. Like a, I don't know. It's just not a flat matte powder and I really like it. That brand makes a lot of good stuff. Um, I used this Touch and Soul No Problem Priming Eraser. I love this thing a lot. I think it really smooths out your skin. And I think it looks really good even when you're not wearing makeup. Like just to kind of fill in little spots you might have pores or fine lines. It kind of just adds a nice little smoothing look to your face. And it wears really well under makeup. And I really enjoy this. It isn't a pen kind of like twist up stick. Well, there you go. Um, and I kind of, when I finish it up, I think I want to try out the, the squirt bottle one they have because I, I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, I had this Wander Beauty, Wanderesque, Dusk to Dawn blush and highlighter palette. I got this in BoxyCharm at the beginning of the week, which is perfect timing. And I've been using this one here, Tuscan Sunrise. I actually have that blush on today and I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Ah! And when I first got this in the box, I thought it was the eyeshadow palette, which I already have, but no, it was something even cooler. My hand is stained with swatches from earlier, but this is the highlighter, the blush, and then the other blush. This is the one I'm wearing today, Tuscan Sunrise. At first, I was kind of just dabbing in between both of these here, but it was kind of a little intense. But yeah, I've been enjoying that. I haven't tried the highlighter yet, just the blushes, but so far, so good. Drop some stuff. Um, this highlighter is the only highlighter I wore all week. It's from Physicians Formula and it's the, it's just called Warm Nude and this is how it looks. I have this in a video called Brands That Only Make One Good Thing and this brand is in there. Let me swatch the other hand. There's like a brush hair on my nose. Um, it's so pretty. I love this. And anyway, this is one of the only things I really like from Physicians Formula. Because you can kind of dab around everywhere. You can build it up to look super intense. It'll also look really natural and pretty. And I have this on today with the something else on top so you can't really see. Ugh. Anyway, I love this thing a lot. And I always forget about it. Like I use it, I'll use it all week now, and then I'll put it away and forget about it for like a year. There is something tickling me. Moving on. Um, another blush that I love is this sheer... Soft Spot Sheer Blush in the shade Sweet Sunrise from Collab. I talk about this brand. I feel like I talk about them all the time, but not really in videos. I don't know why, but they're super underrated. They make some great products, and I love this blush. This blush is such a nice tone that for me, I could also use it as bronzer and like just to warm up my skin tone, but I use it as blush all the time, and I really enjoy it. It's, when it's called a sheer blush, but it's not sheer. Like It has some color and some color payoff to it, but it is easy and everyday kind of natural looking blush. And they have some great shades in that line too. Oh, one palette that I use, I use this on Sunday. Do you guys remember this? It's called Boardwalk Boozing and it's from Wet n Wild. So Sunday at my work was called Pink Sunday. It was like a big Soap and Glory event. And um, I, so of course, wore pink eyeshadow and I picked out this one here to use. A little bit of this, no, no, I used the orange one to deepen out the corner a little bit, but I used the pink all over the place. And then by the end of the day, my eyes were really red just because they were. And my I looked crazy with the pink 
eyeshadow and the red eyes. It looked crazy, but I love this palette. It's long, long discontinued, but I, I continue to keep it and use it and love it. Um, another foundation, actually I only used this one time because then I, I just felt like I wanted to use this. Like I crave this one a lot. Is that weird? But this is really good. It's It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, it has a really nice coverage, but when I, I forget that this is so moisturizing that I don't need to use a moisturizer first. And when I do use a moisturizer first, it pills. And that's what happened when I wore this. And I was immediately like, ugh, I'm not dealing with this again. So went back to my rumble. But um, yeah, this is a really good foundation. It's super moisturizing. It will pill if you put moisturizer on first. It just went my experience. So I always forget about it, but it's a good product. Um, I, uh, oh, the only eyeshadows I wore all week were, besides that one day, were these Urban Decay on the run palettes. Oh my God. I put up a video yesterday about these. If you're interested, these aren't good. I don't even think you should waste your time with them. I think they are just one of the worst releases in recent history. Is that dramatic enough? Anyway, um, I was using one of the palettes in there and I was really, really craving a shade like this to go with one of the looks I was trying to do. This is ColourPop's Paper Tiger. I love this thing. And I pulled this in just to kind of work with one of the other shadows there. Um, yeah, it's a great shade and I always love using it. And then also on Sunday, I used this with my pink eye makeup that I did. It's this Rimmel, um, what is it called? Magnified. It's like a little holographic eyeshadow and face highlighter in the shade Blushed Orbit. I love things like this. I think this is such a cool shade. Um, and Rimmel needs to make these permanent in their line because they were so pretty. You can kind of see it here. It's a really nice little inner corner pop and that's what I used it for. Um, a different concealer that I used was the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof. I got this in an Ipsy bag. It's too light for my skin tone, so I used it as an eyelid primer and it worked fine, but I don't know. I don't really know anything about it as concealer. Um, a mascara that I love and I rarely talk about is the number seven Lash Impact Lash Impact Lash Primer. I use this on lower on my lower lashes as like a waterproof mascara and it works perfectly fine. This kind of reminds me of the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer and it's really awesome. I use it on my lower lashes all the time. And of course, I'm still stuck on my L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I'm wearing this again today. It's bomb. I love it. And uh, for last but not least, this little Ciate powder. I'm still loving this. It's a little translucent powder. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I use it to set my under eyes and it is freaking bomb. And that is that, my friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is all the products I wore this week. I'm loving doing this so much. Um, I'm going to try somehow to show myself picking products for the week because I kind of want to start doing that kind of style a little bit um, rather than just randomly picking things throughout the week. But I also think that's fun too. Anyway, I might change it up a little bit. I might not. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, yes, I will see you in another one. Goodbye.